What's poppin'? What's TT in this bitch? I'm in bed today. It's Saturday. <clears throat> I think this is my sixth day on my detox fast. And I was detoxing and fasting from social fasting from social media. Ooh, because I feel like I, I've let it be a big distraction in my life. From the foods I eat that are unhealthy for my body. Sugar. Flour. Meat. And. And weed. Weed. Well, I kind of been on and off with the weed for kind of been on and off with the weed for months with really letting go of it because I've been I'll be 42 next month and I've been smoking weed since I was excuse me I've been smoking weed since I was what 14 something like that <clears throat> and I kind of um kind of like start reducing how much I smoke when I realized that it just seemed like I couldn't do shit without smoking. Like, I couldn't go to work. I couldn't uh, eat. I, could, I felt like I couldn't communicate until I roll up a blunt and smoke. And I didn't like the way that that made me feel. So, I say I started kind of winging off of the weed a few months ago. But the social media, baby, bless it. Since Facebook became popular, I have been obsessively using Facebook every single day. If I could co compile all the hours that I spent on fucking Facebook in life, I probably could have built a whole house out of toothpicks. I bullshit you not. And Facebook became unhealthy for my mind because uh I think not only just being distracted and spending so much time on there it's the my it's me soaking up other people's emotions because I'm naturally an empath and I sense people energy not only when I'm around them but through social media and I will a lot of the times pick up other people energy and not realize it's not mine and carry that throughout my days. And I will also be on there like um worrying about who likes me and who don't like me and uh filtering myself. So I just really start getting out of that um filtering myself energy and, and embracing who I am and being who I am no matter what nobody thinks about that. But I still needed to take a break from social media. So, my detox been going pretty good. It is really actually wasn't as challenging as I thought it was. And what I learned from this time away from those things is that my life can operate without them. And that um, I can, I don't become a freaking vegan chef. Um, experimenting and eating all kind of things that I normally wouldn't eat. Like right now I'm eating, I saute green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, onions, mushrooms, garlic. I sauteed that all together with seasonings, right? I did that the other day. So with my leftovers today, I added a can of chickpeas with that and warmed that up. So I had some cauliflower rice. I sauteed that, seasoned it and sauteed that. So I made a bed of cauliflower rice and I put my veggies and chickpeas over top of that. And that's what I'm eating right now. In the name of the one true queen. So what I noticed, y'all, I'm watching Game of Thrones for the third time, watching all the seasons over. And I'm on the second, I'm on the last episode of it, of Game of Thrones. I freaking love Game of Thrones. I love movies in this period of time. 
Like um, 300 and Troy is two of my favorite movies. So Game of Thrones, yes. I thought this is my third time watching the complete season. <laughs> but what I noticed from how I've been eating is I've been remembering all my dreams. I've been remembering all my dreams since I've been eating like this. It's crazy. And it just be random dreams that I can't make sense of. But I did start a dream journal. So I write down what my dreams was. Mm. I think that's amazing. So, also, like, I am Claire Audient. And what Claire Audient is a spiritual gift. That like you get messages from God, spirit guides, angels, the people you around. You get those messages um telepathy by telepathy. And in the past when I was younger, like I used to hear voices and it used to make me afraid because these type of gifts have been demonized. And that's how I grew up. People taught me that kind of stuff was evil. So I would just automatically assume that it was something evil. And I would be afraid when I hear it and I would cuss it out. So prior to when I first had my experience with hearing audible voices, um, my ears would get this pressure feeling like... Um, if you ever been on an airplane, the feeling that your ears get on the airplane clogged up, that's the feeling. But I didn't understand what was happening because at that time when it happened, I had never been on an airplane to know what ear that pressure feel like. So that's what it will feel like. And right after that, that's when I would hear the voices. And like this past year, my right ear feels the pressure in it every single day it happens so much that i'm used to it but i haven't heard any voices but my right ear feel that pressure so i feel like since my detox my left ear has some like a few times like three times have felt like this trying to open up like the like the right ear so i definitely feel like my clear audience is opening up um, i'm giving myself daily tarot readings because I'm stepping into my calling as um, giving guidance to people with tarot. So every day I wake up and give myself a reading. And what God is showing me through my daily reads is that my intuition be on point. Because I'll pull a card, like I'll pull an oracle card. What an oracle card is, is a card that has like a sentence on it or a word or something. Say for instance, I'll pull a card and it says trust. So I'll just give myself, I'll just interpret the card, what it means without going in the book. And nine times out of ten, when I go in the book, the book aligns with what my interpretation says. So I feel like... um God uses that as a way to help me feel confident in the in the messages that I get. And I know that's directly, a f like my intuition is becoming stronger because of uh, me separating myself from the drugs, from the social media and the way I'm eating and speaking to myself now. So it's very interesting. So with all these things happening, it's keeping me like um eager to continue them and when i do come off of my detox and fast i plan to continue to eat the way i've been eating because i actually talk to my food when i make it i say i'm eating this food because i'm loving myself more and by me eating healthier it shows myself that i love myself more i speak to my smooth like i've been eating smoothies fruits vegetables nuts and a bunch of water that's all i've been eating i haven't cheated one time and i'm so freaking proud of myself because i'm a foodie and i've 
I've always been an emotional eater. And when I get in my feelings, I just eat whatever the fuck I want. Eat, eat a bunch of stuff that makes, made me feel low and heavy afterwards. And eating like this makes me, just makes me feel like I love myself more. And that's, and I do. So, oh, when I get back on social media, I'm going to stay on my daily routine that I made for myself. And my routine is when I rise up, meditate, uh, pray at my altar, um, take me a detox bath. And what a detox bath for me is a pink Himalayan salt and Epsom salt and essential oils. And I put my diffuser on with frankincense in there and I make the water as hot as I can. And I just sit in the water and close my eyes and meditate in the water as well. And I talk to the water and I thank the water for protecting my aura, for cleansing my aura. I thank the water for healing my body. I just talk to the water and I talk to God and I talk to my angels and my ancestors and that's what I do every day and then when I get through my bath I'll uh, do my daily read for myself and the daily readings I've been doing for myself I've been keeping me a a a diary of that I'm keeping a diary of that for one so I can um keep account of what's going on in my life and for Two, for I can keep a count on my progression on my reads. So that's what's been going on with me. Uh, I did say that I was going to go outside every day and I was going to create every day. And I had this big old plan for my detox, but I haven't been doing all the stuff that I said I was going to do every day. But that's okay. I've been doing, I've been making it okay. Like, I used to feel lazy for wanting to nap and stuff, but the energies that I carry, it's essential for me to get my rest because that's how I recuperate and that's how I am able to function better in the world. So today when I wanted to take myself, take a nap after I got up and did my rituals, I was like, well, dang, I had a plan to create art and make these oils for my business and stuff today. I literally had to talk to myself and make it okay for me to take a nap and you know what I said to myself I said I feel like I need rest I give myself permission to rest I deserve to rest it's okay for me to rest that's what I had to say to myself and I took a nap and I've been lazy all day so I'm eating my second bowl of veggies and chickpeas and rice and watching the last episode of Game of Thrones. And I just thought I'd come on here and make a check-in video with myself or anybody else who ends up watching. Mm. Mm. That's really all I got to say. This evening, let me say, Arya Stark, Arya Stark is a beast. Arya Stark is a beast. I fucking love Arya Stark. I like Khaleesi too, because she don't take no shit, but she kind of lost me at the end when she started acting jealous of Jon Snow and stuff. And when she killed all them innocent people, I ain't like that. But, yeah, no. Jon Snow, that's my dude. Yeah. So, okay, I'm in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I love sweets and snack cakes and stuff like that. Let me tell y'all what been getting me through freeze dried fruits freeze dried fruit when i when i get an inkling and want something sweet i eat freeze freeze dried fruits they've been helping me a lot so i'm proud of myself i'm looking forward to sticking with this type of lifestyle the best as i can 
proud of myself. Hey, I've been researching my natal chart too. And I would encourage anybody else to do that because it really gives you a sense of who you are in this world and gives you confidence in yourself and stuff. So I've been doing that. So my time about to run out on my phone. I only had 16 minutes available to record and I'm on 15 minutes, 15 seconds. So thank you for watching my video. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, and I just appreciate your listening ear. Have a nice evening. Do what's best for you. Love yourself first. Put yourself first. Always. Um, don't make limitations on your life. You can do and be anything you see for yourself. And bye-bye. To the next video. Deuces.